So first, I'll write this in the augmented matrix form. Here we have 1, negative 2. And because we don't have a z here, z is 0. 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 1, 6, 4, 3. All right, so we're going to proceed with our, with, with our usual row reduction method. Here I have, I'm going to get this to be a leading one and then clear the column so that it, it will be a leading one. So the row I'm trying to get a leading one for, which is row one, stay the same. So one, negative two, zero, three, carry over. Here I'm going to take row 1 times negative 1 to get rid of this 1 over here. So negative row 1 times 1. And negative row 1 is negative 1, positive 2, 0, and negative 3. Now I add side by side. So this is 0. 2 and 2 is 4. 2 and 0 is 2. 3 negative 3 is 0. And for the same way, I'm going to times row 1 by negative 1 again to get rid of the 1 for row 3. And it's going to be the exact same thing. So 1, one negative 1 0. 6 and 2 is 8. 4 and 0 is 4. And 3 and negative 3 is 0. Here I have to get row 2 a leading one now. So I'm going to get this to be a 1. First, by multiplying this row by one fourth, so I have zero, one, one half, and zero, and the other two rows just carry over. Now I need this to be a leading one, so I need to clear the column as well. So the row I'm trying to get leading one for, which is row two, will stay the same. Zero, one, one half, zero. And this is a negative two. We're trying to make it a zero. So we will multiply row two by positive two in order to do that. And two times row two is zero, two, one, zero. Now we add side by side, so 1, one zero is 1, negative 2 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 1, 3 and 0 is 3. And then here, I'm going to do, for, for this 8, I'm going to take row 2 times negative 8 in order to get rid of an 8. So negative 8 times row 2 is 0, negative 8, negative 4, and 0. Now add these two side by side. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. Again, when we have a row full of 0, we can just get rid of it. And we're left with these two rows. And this row has a leading 1. And this row also has a leading 1. So this is a fully row reduced matrix. These two, the x and y variable, has the leading one, so these are going to be fixed. And this one does not, the z, so z is going to be arbitrary. So we have first, I like to start with the arbitrary, so z equals z. And if you read this formula out, this formula says y plus 1 half z equals 0. So we want to know what y is. So y equals, we're going to subtract this 1 half z over. So y, y is negative 1 half z. So y equals negative 1 half z. And then we read this equation, which says x plus z equals 3. We want, want to solve for x, so x is, so you just move the z over to the other side, so x equals 3 minus z. 
So x is 3 minus c. And there's your answer. It's an answer with infinite number of solutions with one arbitrary variable. And we could have not solved for these. The question didn't ask for it, but I wanted, just wanted to show you guys as well. So there you are.